There was a big surge in travel this Memorial Day holiday weekend with plans delayed by COVID last year. A lot of people hit the road. There was also tragedy on some area roadways. WGN's Patrick Elwood is live at the Hinsdale Oasis with more. Pat. Dina, good evening to you. Many Americans hitting the road this holiday weekend far more than last year, which is easily understood why. And the vast majority seeing good times and safe travels. 37 million people, according to AAA, were expected to hit the roads this holiday weekend. The most since pre-pandemic times of 2019 and a 60% increase from last year. But Americans traveling this Memorial Day weekend did so amid soaring gas prices, the highest since 2014. Anna and Tommy are coming from Elkhorn, Wisconsin and heading to Joliet this afternoon. Uh, it's really good. It's nice to be outside. But for others, roadway travel proved to be anything but. This crash on I-90 early this morning involved one car hitting a deer, and while pulling over, it was hit by another car from behind. A 51-year-old woman and a 15-year-old died. Two others suffered serious injuries. Saturday morning, a multi-vehicle crash involving a 55-year-old Naperville man who died, and Illinois State Police say he was driving the wrong way on the Ryan near 63rd Street. A 66-year-old female from Chicago's Bridgeport neighborhood died as well. We're like Hebron, Indiana. We went up to the Dells for the week. Weekend. How'd that feel? It's good. We're ready to get out. That's Tim Asher, who says without question, there are busier roads this holiday weekend, which made for longer travel times. But in the big picture, it's okay. A lot of bottlenecks near construction and stuff like that. Uh, Wisconsin, we sat for about 45 minutes. Uh, it was it was packed right around the bell. So yeah. But all that matters is that you get there and home safe. Oh yeah, yeah. So far, we got about an hour to go. As it relates to the uh, crash on I-90, no information in terms of, of the identification of the 51-year-old woman, but the medical examiner identifies the 15-year-old teen tonight as Carlos Fajardo from Crystal Lake. Reporting from the Hinsdale Oasis, Patrick Elwood, WGN News, back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Patrick.